Hi, I'm Linda from Barlati's Body Blitz. Welcome to Tighten It Front and Back of Thighs. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat and a resistance loop. I'm just using a medium tension loop because we will be doing quite a few reps of each exercise and we're also doing similar exercises but with different angles for the same muscle group. So there's going to be a lot of muscle fatigue happening in this workout. If you do not have a resistance loop, you can do the entire workout without. Perhaps put on some ankle weights or if you have a Pilates band, just tie it into a loop. You just need to make sure that it's small enough to give you enough tension because we are using our large muscle groups of the quads and our hamstrings. And a bit of glute, a bit of other thigh, you can't kind of isolate too much when you're using this loop because it gets into all those muscle fibers. Okay, we're going to get started warming up a little bit without the loop, but if you are in a very cold climate, you might want to make sure that you warm up extra and come back when you're ready. So just put the loop to the side and just sit with your legs extended, your tummy's in, you can slightly lean back on your fingertips and just start lifting your legs. So nice straight legs and you're going to point your toes and all you're doing is lifting up, blowing out on the up, and starting to squeeze the front of the thighs. Now, if during this workout you would like to have a little bit of an abdominal engagement, you can take your hands away and sit up tall and just keep your abs engaged, drawing your belly button into your spine. Up and up. As you get warmer in the quads, you can lift a little bit higher. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now we're going to flip over onto our tummies and we're just going to bring our feet in and extend. In and extend. So I want you to try and bring your heels as close to the glutes as you can. You're bringing in, squeezing those hamstrings and then extending. Really think about isotension. So you need to create your own intensity here. Squeeze it in and extend. Keep your glutes nice and tight. Your glutes are part of the back of the legs, so you wanna make sure they're engaged the entire time as well. A few more like this. In, point away. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Coming back up, we're going to use the loop now. And what I want you to do is put it around your feet. So you're going to put it kind of in the middle of your foot and we're going to come down onto our side. The bottom leg is going to be lightly bent and you want to make sure you're aligning your shoulder over that elbow. And we're going to angle our kneecap instead of straight to the front, we're going to angle it up to the ceiling. So your hips are going to turn out a little bit and then just go up and down, up and down. So the key here is to really squeeze the front of the thigh using the bottom leg to anchor, keep your tummy in and really push out of that shoulder and keep that angle so that you feel it in the front, not so much just in your outer thigh. A few more like this. These are gonna get in there really good, very quickly. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to bend, extend, bend, extend. Make sure there is tension on the loop the entire time. Still angling towards the ceiling, keeping it high as you bend extend. It's almost like you're pushing against that loop with your, the top of your foot the entire time. And as you extend, maybe go that tiny bit higher. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Go for four, are you feeling that yet? Three, two, and one, nice job. Now we're going to roll it slightly forward so that we're facing our chest on an angle towards the floor and we're gonna bring this leg slightly back and turn our knee down. And then you're just gonna start lifting. So this is a slightly awkward angle, but if you turn your heel up as much as you can and your knee down, you're going to feel more of the back of the leg. You wanna be going back and up. 
It's not just up, but it's back and up. So you're pulling on almost like an angle, 45 degrees towards the back, leading with that heel. Keep your legs super straight. We're going to bend extend very shortly. Are you feeling it all down your leg, right up into your glute? That's where you should be feeling it. Tummies are in, shoulders are relaxed. Go for four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna keep the leg up, bend and extend. Bend and extend. So you need to, once again, keep your leg high. Bend and extend. As you extend, push into the heel as if you're pushing something heavy away from you, like a heavy cement block, push. Bend, extend, bend, fully extend. A few more like this. You're getting a workout for your core here as well because you're holding yourself in this position. Tummies are in. Four, three, two, and one. Now come back to that initial position and we're going to do a combination. We're going, going to do two straight up, two bend extend, then roll forward, two straight back, two bend extend, okay? So make sure this foot is nice and anchored here. So starting with your kneecap up, it's one and it's two. It's bend, extend, bend, extend, rolling forward, back, and it's two and it's bend, extend, bend, extend. Coming up, it's one and it's two. Up, extend, up, extend, rolling forward, back on an angle for two. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Again, hits up for straight for two. Bend, extend. Bend, extend, rolling forward, back on an angle. Squeeze your glute, bend, extend, bend, extend. A few more like this, up for two, bend, extend. Then back for two, bend, extend. Let's do two more sets, one and two. Keep your leg high and the tension on that loop. One and two, bend, extend. This is the last set. Two, bend, extend, and back for two, bend, extend. Okay, now I'm gonna be super nice to you and I'm going to let you switch sides. Otherwise, I would have made you do the entire workout on the one side and then move over. But because I know this loop is super tough, we're gonna to switch it up. So exactly the same thing. Align yourself nicely, tummies in. The bottom leg slightly bent, anchor the loop. Turn your knee up to the ceiling and it's up and down. Up and down. So you wanna make sure that you're engaging your core to hold you in a completely static position and only the leg is moving. So this leg was anchoring the loop on the other side. I think you're gonna feel it more quickly. I am definitely feeling it. Squeeze the front of the thigh Keep your leg nice and straight, point the toe, and it's up for a few more like this. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now it's bend, extend, bend, extend. I want you to straighten out and squeeze your quad. Imagine you've got a stick behind your knee so that's how straight I want you to extend. Lengthen away, keep your neck long, don't slouch, tummies in. <sighs> Blow out on the extension, extend, bend, extend. So you're slightly pulling up on the extension, okay? There's super tension on this loop, there should not be slack. If there's slack like this, you're not doing it right. So get it up there, four, three, two, one, now we're rolling forward again, just making sure you're angling. Your leg is in front, the other one's behind, and you're coming up and back, up and back. So you need to make sure that you are angling your knee slightly down and your heel slightly up, and you're going up on an angle towards the back, up and back. Focus on back of leg, focus. Squeeze your glute as well up. Leg is super straight here, straight as an arrow. 
up and back, up and back. Keep squeezing, lengthening, pointing your toe, four, three, two, one. Keep it up, bend, extend, bend, extend. So you're bending and then up and back, bend in, up and back. Keep it behind this knee. Your leg should not be coming in front. Don't do this, okay? Don't do this. Keep it back, bend, up and back. Bend, up and back. You need to be going back. That's why we're angling our body forward. You can even come all the way down here if you like. The main thing is that you're keeping the leg back for four, three, two, and one. Okay, so now we're doing that combination. So make sure you're in a position where you can quickly transition between the two. Keep that leg anchored and you remember, you're, you're making your heel come down, your knee up, and it's two of these. Two bend, extend, keep it high. Roll forward, two up and back. Two bend, extend to the back. Roll it up, one, two, bend, extend, squeeze it. Finish that raise, one, two, bend, extend, higher at the end. Up, two, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, forward, back, foot two, in and up, in and up. Remember to angle your feet. This one is up to the ceiling and now your heel is trying to turn its way as high as it can. Up again, one, two, bend, extend, squeeze the quad and Back and up for two, bend up, bend up. Two more sets, one and two, bend, extend. And back, two, all the way up. Last set, up, straight, bend, extend. And back for two, in and back, in and back. Awesome job. Okay, we're coming back to the other side. Now we're going to stay in a seated position and we're going to just put the loop around the back foot. So that's the leg we didn't just work. We're going to hold onto that loop with our hand. So you're gonna get a bit of an arm workout here as well. And we're just gonna come in and press away. So I'm anchoring my arm by my waist and I'm just holding that and I'm pressing away, pressing away. The reason I like to have a crossbody hold is because it keeps the loop out of the way of my knee. If you hold it on the same side, you're going to find that it gets in the way and you're going to bang your knee against it each time. So you just hold that however's comfortable and I need you to keep your leg up and every time you extend, I want you to squeeze your quad Squeeze your quad and push away. So you're pushing away and this time your foot is flexed and it's away and it's push. So you can feel here that you've got strong legs. You can even get a heavier loop for this section. Let's go for six and five and four, three, two, one, now keep your leg flexed and your toes are flexed and it's up and down. Now keep your arm lower. If you wanna hold it with both, you can to help you. I want your arm lower so that when you lift, you have to pull up against that tension you're creating. It's up, it's up. If this is hurting your hand, you can maybe wrap this around a dumbbell and hold onto the dumbbell. Up, or wear lifting gloves. If you have weight lifting gloves, that really works too. Up, are you feeling this yet? Hip flexor is getting involved. Eight, seven, six, five, four, don't bend the leg. Three, two, one, tiny break for the hand and for the foot. Readjust if it's hurting your hand and we're doing a combination. We're gonna do two of each, okay? So bend, extend, and then two up. Deep breath in, anchor that loop. It's bend, extend, 
Bend, extend, up, down, up, down. Bend, extend, bend, extend, up, down, up, down. Don't worry if your loop curls up. I just want a lot of tension on there. Up, down, bend, extend, bend, extend. Flex that foot, get it high. Bend, extend, and extend. Up, down, up, down. Come on, you can do this. Push away that heavy cement block and keep your leg off the mat. Do not tap down ever. Keep it up. Up, down. Bend, extend. Bring your knee right in. Straight up. And up. Three more. Bend, extend. Bend, extend. Up, down. Up, down. Bend, extend. Bend, extend. Up, down. Up, down. Last one. And up, down, up, down. Awesome job. Now we're going to work the same leg, back of leg, before we move on. So what I want you to do is put the other loop in and we're going to lie down on our tummies. So your loop is around your feet and we're going to keep our legs parallel and we're going to try to extend and bend the front leg. Extend and bend. So you need to keep the other foot flexed and try to come down with your toe tapping onto that mat. It's gonna be a bit awkward at first and don't worry if your loop rolls up. I just want you to fight for it. Now, I want you to try and keep your thigh just slightly off the mat, okay? Slightly off the mat so that you're engaging your entire leg, including your quad here. The wider you have your feet apart, the easier this is going to be in terms of the loop not rolling up. Tap down and up. So as you squeeze in, I want you to think hamstring. In, squeeze your glutes here as well. Six, five, four, three, Two, one. Now come down, push against the loop with your anchoring leg and we're doing the same thing off the mat this time. So you're not gonna be able to come as far up, but you need to point your toe this time and really pull in. So this one is harder. So your thigh is on the mat and you're pulling in. You're not gonna get very far depending on how tight your loop is but you should feel hamstring here. Major hamstring work. I want you to hold your tummy in and keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Once you see it, maybe look down at your mat. Don't look at me. And just keep going for a few more. Six, five, four, three, two, one, now part your legs a little bit further and we're just gonna point our toe and raise a straight leg up. Straight leg up, point the toe and keep it straight. Now squeeze your glute and really focus on straightening and lifting the entire unit up. It doesn't matter so much if you point or flex, but if you're pointing here, you've got a larger range of motion. Otherwise, your toes are gonna to hit that mat each time. Up, squeeze the back of the leg. Up, up, really squeeze it. You can do it. Keep it long. A few more like this. If your hip bone is hurting from pushing into the mat, you can double up your mat or get a towel. Six, five, four, Three, two, one. Hold it up and tiny pulses at the top. Tiny, tiny pulses at the top to finish. Then we're moving to the other leg. Up and up. Breathe, up and up. You can do it. Keep your legs straight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah. That deserves a stretch. Just 
straighten and then lightly bend forward. Oh my goodness, can you feel that hamstring stretch? You can point and flex here. Ah, oh, that feels good. And now we have the other side to do. So, loop around the other leg. It doesn't really matter so much how you sit in terms of what you're doing with your supporting leg. You can bend it, you can even keep it in like this. The main thing is that you are really nice and steady so that you can lift that leg, hold your tummy in, you cross hand grip so that you're not going to bang your knee into that loop. And I like to slightly sit back. I can even engage my abs a little bit here. Keep my arm by my waist and it's bend extend. So once again, as if you're pushing away that heavy cement block. I'm keeping my leg up the entire time. Okay, so I'm not letting it drop. And I am squeezing the front of thigh. <sighs> Straightening all the way each time. Extend, extend. Everything else is totally still. You're not moving your arm, you're not moving your supporting leg, you're trying not to rock your body, you're keeping everything stable and you're just pushing away, focusing on that quad. Everything you've got is focusing on that quad. Extend. Keep breathing, oxygenate your muscles. Forward and squeeze, squeeze. A few more like this, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now anchor it lower and we're going to keep the legs straight and up, up. Now this is where you're going to feel your hip flexor. If it gets too much, you can kind of lie down like this and that's gonna take the hip flexor work out of it, okay? But if you can, I want you to try and stay up and really squeeze the front of that leg and keep that arm down so you're really feeling resistance on the up. <sighs> Come on, I know it's tough, but we are tougher. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, tiny break. Readjust and we're gonna do that combination, two of each, okay? Deep breath in, anchor that arm and we're gonna bend, extend, bend, extend, up and down, up and down. So come to that hovering position on the down. Don't come all the way down. Bend, extend, push away long. Up and down, up and down. Make sure your arm is low, okay? If you've got it up here and you're going like this, you're not gonna feel the loop on that raise, okay? It needs to be lower and your leg is going up high. Bend, extend, bend, extend. You can even bring your hand down as you raise that leg. Give yourself some extra challenge and up. Blow out on the exertion. Squeeze and squeeze. This is the last little bit for the front of thigh. Then we're moving to the back and we're done. Let's do four sets. Up, down, up, down. Three. Up, down, up, down. Two. Up, down, up, down. And one. Up, down, up, down. Nice job. Okay, back around both feet and we're going to lie down on our tummies again. So starting at the top, separate your knees quite wide here. It will help you to have a more stable base of support so that when we come down and in, down and in, you're not gonna curl up the loop. So try and keep your thigh off the mat. You'll feel the front of thigh engaging and you'll also feel the back of thigh engaging. You're gonna fight to keep that other leg stable, okay? Keep your tummies in. Once you see it, look down at your mat. Don't look at me. 
and just focus on bringing that heel in and squeezing the back of the thigh. So this one is a larger range of motion. It's not quite as difficult as the next one we're going to do, but take advantage of it. Down and in, down and in. So many muscle groups firing because we are trying to stabilize here. It's not a conventional exercise, but the loop is helping you get stronger in so many different ways. Six, five, four, keep your thigh up, three, two, and one. Now this time both are down and you're anchoring the loop with your back foot. You need to make sure it anchors, otherwise it's gonna slip off. And then you're going to bring it in and down. This time your thigh is on the mat and down, in and down. Point your toe here and really drive the heel as close to your glutes as you can. Feeling that tightening of the hamstrings. And down, in and down. Ah, oh, really feeling that. Squeeze, squeeze. The other leg is nice and straight. Keep that toe pointed on the supporting leg and squeeze your quad here. May as well. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now keeping that leg straight, it's up and down, up and down. If you prefer to come all the way down because it's hurting your neck to stay up, then you can do that up and down, up and down. So you're squeezing your glute, you're squeezing the entire back of the leg, keeping it super straight, and you're also squeezing your supporting leg into that mat, anchoring the loop, and feeling the quad, the front of the thigh, up, up. A few more like this, and then we're pulsing it to finish, and then that's it. So these last ones have to be your best. Get up high, straight leg, blowing out on the up, eight, seven, Six, five, come on, four, three, two, and one. Keep it up to finish, pulse it, pulse it. Come on, you can do this. We're nearly done, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze the glute, keep the leg super straight. Up, up, higher, higher. There has to be tension on that loop, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Come into child's pose, relax your back, stretch your armpits towards the mat, and then let's come up and we're going to stretch our hamstrings so you don't need that loop. And we're just going to sit up straight again like we did on the other side. Deep breath in and lean forward, stretching the back of your legs. You don't have to come super low as long as you feel it. Point and flex here. Point and flex. Straightening that. Ah, oh, that feels super. And then we're going to come to our side and we're going to stretch the front of the thigh by pulling the heel in towards the glute. And I really want you to push your hip backwards here and pull your heel in as much as you can Feeling the front of the leg stretching there. Uh, lengthening those muscles is very important after using that loop especially. And now bring your leg up and I want you to just put your hand on either your heel or if you can't, further down and just pull in towards you. Keep your leg nice and straight and this is going to stretch the back of your leg again. Nice and straight. That feels good. And then we're going to come up and extend that leg, keep this one in, and same sort of thing, just slightly different angle, coming down and over. We did use our core quite a bit, so we definitely want to stretch that too. And then we're going to switch it, other side, coming down. 
feeling our back as well, our lower back got quite a bit of work, especially in that lying position. And then we're going to come into that quad stretch, pulling that heel in, pushing your hip backwards, lengthening that out. And then bring that up, hold on to your heel and pull in towards you. And for the glutes, because we did work a little bit of glute and outer thigh, just sit down and then pull your knee in. So you want to make sure both of your butt cheeks are on the mat and pull that in towards you, feeling the outer thigh, outer hip and glute stretching there. That is a really good stretch. You can do this as often as you like because our glutes get tight from all of those squats, lunges, raises we do. So make sure you're positioned right. If this leg is uncomfortable, bring it out in front, same thing. Pull in and really focus on sitting up tall and pulling that in as much as possible. And then finally, we're just going to come onto all fours and do some cat cows to release our lower back. So breathing in through the nose, all the air out, push your spine to the ceiling. And then coming down and looking up. Again, all the way up. And down one more time. And and that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for my Titanet front and back of thigh workout. I hope you enjoyed using the loop and I'll see you at the next workout.